Muck City, Florida. Her soil is her fortune. In these parts, there's a legend, a secret to football supremacy. But we'll get to that. Of course, Muck City is just a nickname. A gathering of four towns in the Everglades, two hours north of Miami. But you won't find the bright lights of South Beach here. Nope. Nothing but sugarcane fields. It's in the middle of nowhere. Not a lot to do. There are no shopping malls to go to. There's no Walmart. There's no Target. There, there really isn't any restaurants. Not a lot to do at all, man. Except, of course, play football. You got to get penetration. Two, three yards and settle and get flotation to the damn ball. Don't need to run up. Don't need to run up. How are you going to stop the option? Folks out in Muck City look at football as a rite of passage into manhood. Three high schools sit within 10 miles of each other. Pahokee, Glades Day, and Glades Central. In 2006, all three won state championships in their class. It's like a, a close-knit family. Um, live and die football every day, all day, every day of the year. The Friday night atmosphere at a game is, is just ridiculous. The talent is good. Uh, you're, you're talking about a part of Florida where it is, it's a blue collar, blue collar area. So you usually got pretty tough kids, boys that are not spoiled, you know, boys that are used to working for what they get. When Coach Bowden says blue collar, He's being nice. For some, money is scarce, opportunities are rare, and the only chance to get out of Muck City is to play football and play it fast. Speed is probably the one thing that everybody knows. Man, those guys from the plays, they just got speed. That's what a lot of people say. They've just got that reputation. It seems like most of the kids we've gotten out of had excellent speed. So now you might be wondering, how does such a small area produce lightning fast football players? Well, deep inside the muck of these sugarcane fields, you'll find the secret. This is where the legend lives. We chase rabbits in order to get faster. <laughs> yep, happens every winter. They chase rabbits. Rabbits are a lot faster than humans, and in order to catch rabbits, you have to chase them. So you, it, it will help build up your speed. Running in dirt and soil, you know, kind of help because it's strengthening, you know, the leg muscles, you know, to, to run throughout this, this thick soil. Just look for the smoke rising from the field. They're burning the sugar cane to prepare for the harvest. That'll scare the rabbits out. That's where you'll find the locals, cruising in by the carloads, dust to flying. We waiting on to see what the cane burner gonna do. If he gonna go around the back end, then it'll be a lovely day for us. But if he don't, gotta go somewhere else to try, try luck somewhere else. Anthony Shepard won 28 straight games as the starting quarterback for Pahokee High. He led the Blue Devils to back-to-back -to -back state titles in 2006 and 2007. He's been out here chasing rabbits through the muck ever since he can remember. Ooh, woo. So many rabbits in that watch. You gotta be athletic. You gotta be athletic because they're gonna zigzag, you know, a million times. And the, the better that you can move, maneuver throughout the soil, you know, in, in the muck, back in the fields, you, you would have to be you know, very athletic to want to wanna, you know, stop on the dime like how rabbits do. They would run one way and stop and cut back and, and run right between your legs sometimes. The rabbit is elusive like a running back. They make the quick cuts. It really helps me. So I compare them to the running back. If I can make the quick cuts like the rabbit does, it's going to be easy for me to track down the running back. 
makes your ability to cut and uh, zigzag and and uh, reverse field and all those good things that rabbits do. A rabbit can lead you on a good chase. <laughs> Even old Don Thompson doesn't know when the tradition started. When he arrived in Pahokee in 49, Muck City kids were already chasing rabbits. So Don chased them too. And when he coached Pahokee to its first state title in 89, he used the rabbits to help him figure out who should play where. Can't get more than 50 rabbits in a, in a day, then uh, we, uh, only those could, could graduate to running backs and skill positions. And uh, everybody that got uh, up to 50 would have to play line, They'd go to the line. For those in Muck City, there is one trophy rabbit, the fastest, most elusive, and rarest of catches, the cottontail. Charles Walker and his son Tony, a cornerback at Glades Day, know how hard it is to catch. They say through the decades of chasing, not a single walker has ever caught a cottontail. But on a bright Sunday morning last March, Tony spots a fleck of white darting through the muck. The color, they different. It was gray, and I was like, oh, this must be a cottontail. I said, I had to have it. That cottontail would take Tony on the chase of his life, up and down the hill, through the dust. For almost five minutes, the chase went on, until the cottontail disappeared deep into a canal. That's where the chase ended. He jumped in the water and I just jumped on top of him. What? A walker caught a cottontail? <laughs> You're the first walker to catch a cottontail. Congratulations. <laughs> Muck rabbits go for two bucks on the market. The cottontail goes for three. But Tony wasn't looking to sell this prize. So, the legend lives on. The Muck City football players chase rabbits, and they are fast. Is there a connection? Well, it would be hard to argue against it. The myth, who knows? I do know that guys chase rabbits, I do know that guys are very, very fast where I come from. Well, I'd say a guy that lives on the beach can swim better than a guy that lives back in the Everglades. Now, I'd say a guy that chases rabbits has got a chance to be faster than a guy that don't chase rabbits.